Alamance Community College welcomed more than 1,000 students on March 6th to help celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote. With a theme of She Changed the World, exhibits, historic interpreters, and hands-on activities honored the women's suffrage movement in America. Students from Alamance Burlington Schools, the Early College, and ACC came to see and learn how women's suffrage changed the world in an informative and wide-ranging exhibit. First up was an historic archival exhibit courtesy of the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, featuring 10 historic documents, photos, and paraphernalia relating to women's suffrage, students crowded to view an original copy of North Carolina's 19th Amendment sent to the legislature for ratification in June 1919. That exhibit also included anti-suffrage and pro-suffrage propaganda, handheld fans, period political cartoons, and a protester's sash. Representatives from the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources were on hand to explain the artifacts to students. The archival exhibit was only the first stop for visitors. To commemorate the ratification of the 19th Amendment, students were invited to vote for their favorite superhero in a mock election for ACC suffrage president. Wonder Woman, portrayed by ACC alumna Sally Newcomb in a homemade costume, and Captain Marvel, portrayed by ACC student Cheyenne Collins, rallied visitors to mark their ballots inside specially made voting booths. By day's end, Wonder Woman had won the mock election. Women from North Carolina historic sites brought their skills as actor interpreters to interact with students, sharing how women supported the United States in times of war over the past 160 years. Hands-on activities provided the young visitors with interesting opportunities to learn about early 20th century political campaigns as they were invited to create buttons, sashes, rosettes, fans, and write postcards to their parents about all they were learning. Among the many things to see were vintage apparel on display, telling the story of women's fashion since 1920. Women in the college's horticulture technology department engaged with students to tell about ACC's women in science programs and explain the variety of STEM careers. Partnering with the suffrage event, ACC's Scott Family Collection opened its latest exhibit highlighting two North Carolina women who made an impact. Now on display are the 1969 inaugural gown worn by North Carolina First Lady Jessie Ray Scott at the inauguration of her husband, Governor Robert Scott. Also included are photos and artifacts relating the impact of Elizabeth Scott Carrington, for whom ACC's main campus and Carrington Hall at UNC Chapel Hill are named. The ACC Student Chorus, under the direction of Dr. Roger Lane, performed suffrage songs dressed in period costumes from the early 20th century. The entire exhibit and host of activities was coordinated by ACC's Student History Club and its advisor Sherry Singer, 